So we've got Pack Rat, Pack Rat's Black Prison, Karn's Black Prison, or Liliana's, maybe even Turgrid's. So Pack Rat's here. Pack Rat is a token generation and our actual win condition in some cases. What's fun about this one is we've got the rats, but we've also got the cats. So this list is probably one of the better monocolored prison lists that are out there right now. We're trying to work on red prison, but this might actually be up your alley for some of you playing a little bit of this black prison. This kind of gives a nod that Chalice is maybe not the greatest right now. It also says, hey, maybe Blood Moon's not that great either. This one does play a bridge, but it is sideboarded, and it's sideboarded because we're actually playing more removal and hand disruption than, say, a typical red prison list. So that's kind of cool. Got a lot of lands here. Those not have to be swamps that are snow covered. We just happen to be playing this because it's a nice little bit of art. You'll notice there's 61 cards currently in the main with 15 sideboard. We're gonna leave the 15 sideboard alone. However, we do have Terrigrid here. I want to put this in for something that we already have main decked here. And I think to me, I'm really kind of leaning towards putting it in for a Karn but I also know Karn kind of gets most of our lock pieces from the sideboard. So I think I'm gonna actually put Terrigrid in for something like maybe a Soul Guide, maybe a Bobble, maybe, maybe a Liliana. It's tough for me to say. I think Karn's maybe the more correct line, but I think because we're more prison and we're relying on Karn, I wanna keep that as an option. Let's go ahead and put Terrigrid in for, I'm almost tempted to do a Swamp and play 21, but that's really risky. Let's do it. I'm, I'm so greedy. We're going to take a, a land out. You know what? Let's not make it a Swamp. Let's make it a Field of the Ruin. All right. And with that, let's go play some Black Prison. What's up, Nydia? Our first list went well for what we put together. We put together a Chandra cat prison list that splashes white just to be a joke and ended up going 2-3 with an initial 0-3 start. And then I, then I baited people with the predictions. <laughs> <clears throat> but no, it, it was fun. It was, that's, that's the main takeaway. It was fun. Let's see how this black prison list that works though. We found this with Gabriel Nassif, but we ended up switching it to a pack rat pl prison versus some of the, what the other folks are doing out there. All right, opening hands, one lander, bobble, and a lot of four drops here. We're gonna mulligan this, look for the second land. Here we go, this looks pretty good. Let's keep, let's go ahead and Opponent's gonna play first here. Let's get rid of the Soul Guide Lantern. I think Karn would be a better thing than the Soul Guide Lantern. We don't even know if they're a graveyard deck. Temple of Deceit here makes me think they are. Wouldn't mind a Thought Caesar Inquisition to disrupt our opponent a little bit here. No such luck here, we'll pass. Looks like our first play might be Liliana the Veil. This may be the new version of Ad Nauseam. We'll see. We'll see. It could be that Inverter Ad Nauseam, which would actually make me okay with a potential Soul Guide Lantern being played. Gets rid of the graveyard a little bit. Sleight of Hand and Serum Visions. That Serum Visions did put one card on top and one card on bottom, so they probably picked up the card they put on top. Drawing a Fatal Push is not where we want to be, unfortunately. Alright, well I guess we're going to be playing Liliana Uptick and get rid of a Fatal Push. What's this airship? Drop and concede? I know, I know. All right, we're gonna hold on to the Blood Chiefs. There's sometimes they play Jace to win. We'll see, we'll see. 
Hoping I get this Karn down so I can get rid of the Pentad Prism. That'd be nice. I have a feeling they have enough mana to do whatever they want here, though. Whatever you want, opponent. There's a Phyrexian on life. Okay. Hmm. Well... I suppose I do Karn and go get a Liquid Metal. Let's play land first, let's uptick. Gonna uptick getting rid of Field of Ruin here. They get rid of a land, which is good. We'll play Karn, this gets turns off the Pentad Prism. This gives them five mana, but not double black right now. So there's a place that I would want the Torp Orb, and there's a place that I want Liquid Metal. I think Liquid Metal has a higher chance here. And I can always get Torp Orb next. Some would make an argument, well, you can just play the other way, get the Torp Orb in case Karn goes away. But I have a high confidence I'm going to keep Karn here. This shutting down, if they had the Inverter... They would need to need another black here. There's a there's a black. Okay. Let's go ahead and start with an Inquisition. This is nifty because I can steal something then, Liliana. And then their hand should be empty. There's an Angel's Grace and a Spoils of the Vaults. We'll steal the Spoils of the Vaults. We can play our land now. We can uptick, get rid of Blood Chief's Thirst. Down with Liquid Metal, shut off some black mana here. Go, 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 opponent. What are you top deck? We shut down Inverter by getting rid of the black mana. This should be a hard lock for my opponent, I think. We should have it here. This is a good start. Pretty good start. Opponent takes a draw. We're just gonna knock off the other black land here and then work our way through the blue lands. Nice. Tigrid's coming too. All right. Duress seems reasonable. Potentially Soul Guide Lantern. Wonder if Ashiok has any value. What'd you miss on the red white brew? Depends on what you're wondering. I think we can take a few fatal pushes out for a Duress and a Soul Guide Lantern coming in. I'm trying to think what else this Ad Nauseam player would, would do. I think I want to leave the Torpor for the Karn. I think I can, can kind of delay them till then. I don't think I want to do Ash, Ashiok either. Let's do this. You had the dip in the middle of game one. Well, we won some games, we lost some games. <laughs> uh, no, I don't think I want to leave a Soul Guy Lantern for a Karn. I'd rather kind of have it before Karn. I want to use Karn to find Torpor or other like end win conditions. All right, um, this is kind of cute. Turn one Inquisition, turn two pack route, start smacking them. Get rid of this fatal push, because who needs that? All right. Coast is in play, a sleight of hand. My opponent also apparently mulligan down. It's almost better sometimes not to know what your opponent's doing and not pay attention to that mulligan part, because you start to make better decisions here. 
Let's go ahead and steal something. We have a Spoils, Angel's Grace. We have a Thassa's Oracle. We have an Ad Nauseum. Let's take Spoils here. Do I? I don't think I want to take Angel's Grace, do I? Hmm. I'm gonna take the spoils of the vault, leave them with an angel grace. I I don't know which one I really like taking there, honestly. It's tough to say. This is the Dark Slick Shores. Might be play Thassa's Oracle. No, they play a Pentad Prism. Now things are looking awkward for this ad nauseum. Well, we hit a duress. That's really good. We'll go ahead and duress away the ad nauseum now. So we have Angel's Grace and Thassa's Oracle, which are both potent. For sure. I play a land. So actually land Liliana's looking really strong now. Because it would get rid of one of these. I scry the card to the bottom. There we go. We'll uptick here with Liliana. I get rid of Luris. They get rid of one of their key pieces and we get there with the Liliana. There we go. That was a that was a good set of draws. Goodbye, opponent. Mindstone, Mindstone. What do we play? Mindstone, play Pack Rat, Uptick, get rid of Luris. Set ourselves up for Karn to shut off this. That was going to be good. Nice. Good start. 1-0. Black Prison. <laughs> Duress. The one of... It does some things from time to time. That was a good example. I think combo is an excellent time to bring it in, especially if you don't need all these fatal pushes. It looked like they were just strictly on the ad nauseum variation, but sometimes they can play an inverter, flip the, the library in the graveyard, and get to play Thassa's Oracle. That's the theory behind the Soul Guy Lanterns, is when they do that, if you had like a Soul Guide Lantern, you get to steal the graveyard and then they're losing on their draw step. All right, we get to play first this time around. Um, oh, I've seen this player a bunch. I don't remember what they're on though. Let's go ahead and keep though. We've got up to turn three covered pretty nicely here. You've been jamming Rat Pack in Historic because you're rat jamming. It's been high value. I love them rats. Rats are good. All right, Misty Rainforest as the opener. Player Castle, Player Mindstone, Pass Turn. Nothing crazy going on just yet. We can lead with Luris next, or we could do, say, Karn the Great Creator. We have a Temple Garden for my opponent, a Windswept Teeth as well. We're going to see some creature. These are very creature colors. Oriok Champion. Oriok Champion, huh? Hmm. What do you think the best snow deck is in modern? I don't really pay attention to a lot of the snow lists, if I'm honest. I don't think snow is a mechanic that you th you inherently have to play. I kind of want to just get the boat because it kills this. Can't believe I want to get the boat. I can't be the right play. You never want to go get the boat. 
gosh, I have to go get the boat. I'm going to go get the boat. I'm going to regret getting the boat, aren't I? What if I just get a liquid metal coating here? Like, is that so bad? Doing that. I'm not getting the boat. I'm not getting the boat. I don't even know if I'm going to draw land. No boat. Torpor would shut this off. I'm not so concerned about Oriok Champion right now. Bam, look. Just giving Karn the biggest of hugs. Look at look at this turn. Kill Arbor Elf. Play Liquid Metal Coating. Shut off a land. Get rid of the land. Go ahead, Oriok Champion. Ha! Ha! Dang it. You found another Arbor Elf. Smooth move. Attacks Karn again here. It would be... Hmm. I could go get boat. I could also kill this and play something else. I think I want to kill the land here, and I'm going to play Tegrid. And then any thought seizes or anything like that going forward just turn into value, like straight value for me. You get a spyglass there and then just lose Karn. I mean, I have the backup Karn. I suppose that's okay. I don't mind them having two mana here. Bam. Two mana is nothing. Hello. Goodbye. All right. We weren't going to find any discard, but hey, you know. You know. So Plague Engineer and Damnation definitely look interesting in this matchup. Hmm... Soul Guy Lanterns, not so much. No boat. Didn't need the boat. This boat's garbage. <laughs> Let's see here. Soul Guy Lanterns, yes. Want the Fatals and Blood Chiefs, obviously. Damnation Plague Engineer can name some stuff. Thoughtsies Inquisition, okay. Bobbles are all right with Luris. Mindstone's okay. I know Tegrid did something there, but I think Tegrid can come out this game. And I might I might be taking out like a pack rat or something, or one Mindstone. Maybe I take one Luris out, just because we are bringing in Damnation. So the idea here is you can name you can name Oriok Champions, um, what is it, cleric or human? We'll double check before we name it. But uh you name that. Before it comes down, Damnation clears a lot of things. Heliod's obviously a little bit of a problem. Spyglass with Karn is a thing we can do. So that's probably the way we lock that out. Otherwise, we need to disrupt them on the lower half of the deck before they can get their combo out. <clears throat> uh, this is pretty disruptive. Little Inquisition, little Fatal Push here. I think I'm, I'm good to keep. Good to keep. Pack Rat's a little awkward here because I don't expect to really attack them. There's an Arbor Elf. Pretty easy startup Fatal Push, probably. We can even see what they're drawing if we wanted to. Let's do that. We have a Horizon Canopy, so we know they're going to have the lands. Let's go ahead and get rid of Arbor Elf. Pass turn. Draw a Mind Stone. Okay. So they have a third land. We drew a Mind Stone. We can work our way to Karn or we can Inquisition. I think we Inquisition this turn because I can't really beat a Heliod here. We're playing more defensive. There we go. So Heliod. Ooh, we have the heart one. Nice. 
Uh, Ranger, Skyclave, and Walking Ballista. Uh, Skyclave is obviously a bit of a pain, but we'll just have to work through that. We're going to take the Heliod, though, because we just can't, can't deal with that card. Go ahead. They have the new Heliod. It's a foily one, too. Rising Canopy is played here. My opponent top decks Heliod Suncrowned. Nice. <laughs> nice. Let's go ahead and play a pack rat here and pass turn. I guess I'm going to have to beat him with pack rat somehow. They're going to skyclave the pack rat, maybe. Gives me a Karn turn to go get Spyglass or something. Yeah, GR. Indeed. We play a little quick here, but you're right. That's spot on with what we, what we did. I actually don't mind a Skyclave here showing up to get rid of the Pack Rat. They decide Ranger, though. I have back-to-back -back Karn, so the Skyclave's not the scariest thing. As soon as I go get a Spyglass first, <clears throat> Spyglass first, they might be like, oh, okay, I'll wait for that. I can get a Torp Orb as well. So let's do Karn. Go get Spyglass first to make them maybe potentially hold this. We're going to try to get Spyglass, Torp Orb, and Spyglass, Torp Orb, and Bridge. Kind of going to try to do it all. Now my opponent could, for a turn, use Ranger to blink the Spyglass showing up. Orb does nothing. So if I play Spyglass here, they just play this to get rid of Spyglass. This, we need to protect against Skyclave too. Torp Orb does a lot. There's a Skyclave. They're going to go get rid of Karn or Pack Rat. They're getting rid of both of these anyway. So there. Three damage, five damage. Now we have one, two, three, four, five, six mana. I play Noble. All right. Walking Ballista. So we have Walking Ballista plus something else. Five, six, uptick. One, two, three, four. I can't do that. Um, I'm trying to think of a way not to lose Karn here. Let's play Spyglass only and pass turn naming Heliod. I want to do the bridge. I'm worried that they're going to be able to do the Ranger. But if I play Karn now, I don't stop walking Ballista. I'm going to pass her not playing Karn. There's a few other draws we could do, and I'm expecting them to maybe, from here, not sacrifice Ranger. If they don't sacrifice Ranger in response to the downtick of Karn, we could potentially get there. Call goes and gets a new Ranger. 
That's not good for us. Now they can just do back-to-back -back rangers to stop us. That's true. No, I'd have I'd have a one one. It's a or a two two. It's a pack rat under there. Okay, so one, two, three, four. Karn will down tick here. They should sack now. If they don't, we get bridge down. Has to sack now. They do. All right, so sacking now. We can still go get bridge, but now we need... Now we need a, a fatal push. So we're going to sacrifice Mindstone here to find a fatal push, hopefully. And I guess it doesn't really matter because I can do the sacrifice the next turn. Then the Ranger has to in response. So we're doing it a little bit at the wrong time. It was one more deep. Alright, so this is what we got to beat. Yeah, I, I played that a little earlier. It didn't, it didn't punish us, but you're correct. Um, do we change anything here? My opponent does search. I mean, I think we're just better on the play against this opponent. This one kind of comes down to who gets to play first and get ahead. I think we just send it back. They have a lot of ways to get out of our lock. The Torp Orb is going to probably be a necessity. Let's play first. Okay, I like this hand. I like this hand a lot. Yeah, Ashiok, it stops only a couple things. We have a Prismatic Vista coming. All right. Dang, we have quite a hand here. So we have an extra land coming here. I have a Veil that would protect things in the future. Draws a card. I have a Spike Feeder and I have a couple Rangers. I have a Collected Company as well. Dang. Do I just take the Collected Company? Force them to try to assemble everything? I'll go that route. I don't think I have much of a choice there, though. Ooh, Plague Engineer is kind of nice. Okay. Extra Liliana is not what we want. They played the Forest, not the Prismatic Vista. Plays the Prismatic Vista now. We have an Arbor Elf. This actually allows me to play Plague Engineer on Elf if I want to. And we have two backup fatal pushes. Arctic Champion's a human cleric. We have a spike, we have a human soldier. So it's a 3-3. Three, three. I'm tempted to do like Liliana and then just uptick. That gives them four mana. We know all the cards. See if they just want to cash in the veil. Let's do a Liliana uptick here and kind of save on our, our fatal pushes. We could hit something a lot juicier with this plague engineer. We got rid of a spike feeder. All right. So they get to play Ranger and. 
with the ranger also have Veil up because of the Arbor Elf. They go get a Walking Blista. They played the Plains. Untaps, plays new Arbor Elf. Sweet. Played the Ranger as well. Okay, so now I get really good here with the Engineer. This can name the Elf Druid. I'll just name what Druid side of it. So that gets rid of that. I could take this moment to get rid of Ranger here, or I can continue to go up. Let's go up and get rid of Pack Rat. This is probably okay to do. This is probably more impactful to them than it is to me. I don't know what they'll get rid of here. They get rid of the Veil. That means my two Fatal Pushes are clear. Plague and Engineer blocking here seems fine as well. And then we have the Fatal Push for a Walking Ballista. This could be another Ranger turn to get another Walking Ballista or a Giver. Just work our way up with the Liliana, I suppose. This is tough. This is tough because if they play like Ranger, I might just keep going up here. I can block with Plague Engineer and kill a Ranger. Do they really want to just sacrifice a ranger to prevent me from playing a spell? Probably not. We could play the whole down tick Liliana game as well. I like our position. Temple Garden shocks in. Ranger plus walking ballista. Puts a 2-2 walking ballista together. Double shoot engineer here. I don't see them double shooting here. Okay. Double shoot here, attack Liliana. Okay. Interesting line. So we have a Liliana, they have a Ranger. I mean, I guess I just battle the Ranger that's on the battlefield, right? I just uptick here. Maybe even getting rid of a Fatal Push so I have an extra land. I can probably beat this Ranger that's on the battlefield. There's no reason to down tick there and then just have this Ranger die and the new Ranger. So we'll get rid of a Fatal Push here. And I'm going to hold the land. I don't think it really matters if I have the hand in, land in hand or not this turn. Not entirely sure what I could draw that would matter. All right, so Ranger clears Liliana here. And by it clearing, I can Fatal Push this now. Whoops. So we're good to go. Board's cleared. We have a Prismatic Vista. Top decks, a go. That's a good top deck. With this Karn, we will go get... What's the best card for us to get here? Probably a Liquid Metal Coating to start things off. A little awkward if my opponent gets exactly Skyclave. But Liquid Metal will start to constrict what they have here if they keep top decking things that don't matter. The boat can come next. If my opponent like drops a land here or something. So this turn, like I could go get Batter Skull.
See, the thing is, if I get boat here, I don't necessarily win. They didn't play anything. This could be a variety of things. It could be a reactive spell. It could be a collected company. If it's a collected company, I almost want... I almost want a bridge here than anything else. I think I'm going to go get a bridge here, play both, and then start working with the liquid metal coating here. Let's do this. I just hope that they kind of drew a blank and it's not collected company, which would be gas. And this kind of helps me start assembling a lock that I can get to them. I need to go two turns here to do Karn down to Torp Orb, and that should be enough. Remember, Walking Bliss is shut off right now because of Karn. The Call is an exceptionally good card here. Call gets... Um, gets... Um, Skyclave. Skyclave gets rid of Karn, probably, or Bridge. Oh my gosh, it's Voxy. What's up, Voxy? How's it going? <laughs> hey there. That's a... That's a Voxy. As a quick note to our... I want to say Voxy does only drafts, but Voxy has a certain tone to her, we'll just say. Uh, we're, we're family friendly. Let's just throw that out there. But thank you so much. Welcome, everyone. Liliana's a really sharp draw there. All right, let's get rid of this temple garden. Woo! We met Voxy a long time ago. It's actually been just over a year. All right, let's play. Let's play smart for all the new people. What's up? I love family. Family friendly. <laughs> she do and she does not. I believe it. I believe it. Voxy's sweet. Grace, where's that shout-out cam? Voxy? We just do it this way, right? There. Bam. Go check out Voxy if you don't. All right. What do we got here? Arbor Elf. We got our land here. Let's go up. Going to uptick here. Get rid of the double white for future Skyclaves. We got illusion blocking. This is looking good. Look at these hypes. Voxy's got some really sweet emotes. Look at that. We got the W here as well for the Voxy folks. Zale. <laughs> I'll play smart for them, but not for you. Zale, we love you. We love you, Zale. This wearing is very present. Just a heads up to anybody who clicks that link. Yes. Yes. Family friendly, but Voxy... Voxy brings the fire. I don't know. Does Voxy like Chandra? We like Chandra a lot. We we like or we like Chandra a lot. Voxy, you've got like red hair, kind of like Chandra. All right, we win the match. She did a lazy Chandra cosplay once. That's on point. I could imagine Chandra actually being kind of lazy and fiery all at the same time. I mean, I'd be down for lazy cosplays, but I don't dress up. <clears throat> anyway, how's everyone's doing? Happy Monday. Happy Monday. It's been a long Monday, that is for sure. My name is Fluffy Wolf 2 We stream Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and we stream Modern. So welcome. If you've got any questions about Modern, don't hesitate to ask. Hopefully you don't all flood me with questions. <laughs> I'll try to keep up and, and educate. We're here to educate as well. How's the tube man? Do you let him back in from the storm? Oh, tube man is under the tube man is under the stairs. He's back in his apartment. He's not paying rent though. He's in trouble. He stole all your money. I feel like I owe it to the stream to lock him up like that. He can't scam you all. It's rude. 
We're not about that. We're about family, friends, and values, not scamming people out of m money. He was like, 250 for rent. What a lying jerk. All right. One lander, but we have an Inquisition Thought Seize here, plus Soul Guide Lantern. It does quite a bit to my opponent, but I'm a little nervous to keep a one lander here. There's a very high possibility we don't, we don't make it go here. Dream Crush this man. We'll try. Oh, oh, they're 4 0. Oh my gosh. Maybe I do keep a Thought Seize Inquisition here. I can't keep a one lander, can I? I've got a lot of thought season inquisitions. This is just dangerous. If we end up keeping this and we just... We can basically lose to ourselves here without drawing a land. We'll hit the land, Grayus. Oh, I don't know. It's a one lander and Nidia is over there already about to pounce on me for keeping a one lander. The right play is a mulligan here. We have so many inquisitions and thought seizes. My opponent's 4-0. They're playing tight magic. Let's play tight magic. This is so much better. We'll keep this. We can get rid of one of the castles. Look at this gas hand. We can we can even deal with a creature. Rewarded big time. What's up, Big Tony? Big Tony, and it looks like eight ones, but I won't count them. You tell me how many ones you got. Never punished? That's a nice one. Never punished. All right, opponent. My opponent mulliganed to six as well. Inquisition thought sees looking pretty gas. We'll start with Inquisition. Usually it's right to do Inquisition into thought sees because you want to take the lower card than the higher card. Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> we have thought sees Inquisition from them. We have Swift Spear as well. Mmm. What's up, KO Diamonds? How's it going? Um, let's. I mean, Fatal Push isn't a problem. Lightning Bolt's. Uh, no, eh. It's an eh. Maybe I just take this Swift Spear. Oh, another person with a secret layer of art. I think we just take the Swift Spear. Like, I know I have the Blood Chiefs, but they're just going to, like, line me up with a Thought Seizer Inquisition. And now that I've done this, they'll Inquisition my Thought Seize and they'll have a Thought Seize on us, but that's probably okay. I don't like them resolving a creature and I'm just not able to do anything about it for forever. So they'll steal something back from us. Assuming it'll be the Thought Seize. They might take Blood Chiefs though, force me to do Thought Seize on them. We'll see. What's up, KO? How's your Siege Rhinos going? We're going to have to have Abzan soon. Need an Abzan Knight. All right, we get a bobble. We'll wait to do this because my opponent has an extra thought sees here. We could have probably seen what they drew. Silent clearing is one of the cards they drew. Also, for those that have uh, joined us from Voxy's raid. Uh, you can give yourselves a pat on the back. Uh, Voxy is now the largest raid we've ever had on this stream. Beating out Jim Davis, Gabrielle Nassif, and a few others. Oh my gosh, post-mortem lunge. Oh my gosh, what are we what are we doing? Draw me some cards. Oh, that's that's some cards, alright. Let's thought sees out. Lightning bolt, postmortem lunge. All right, we're gonna feel the ruin them. I'll feel the ruin the blood crypt here. Maybe mess them up a little bit. They have white mana. They could just get a mountain if they have it. Yeah, I'll probably fire off bolt here as well. Trying to do this in the draw step. Maybe catch a land that they might have in hand. I don't know. Yeah, Ko, you you Voxy rated us. Voxy's sweet. We we've got Voxy on follow. Voxy and Bloody, we 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 met at a GP. It's 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 kind of like can I can I be a fanboy as a tre Switch streamer? Is that allowed? I'm a fan. All right, we destroy this. We go get a mount or mountain. 
Red prison, please. We go get a swamp. <clears throat> Got nothing else to do here. F6 through the turn here. Double red. We're just going to use the postmortem lunge here. No, this is sorcery speed. You can't do that. Three mana. What are we doing for three on draw step here? My opponent's at 13. K command. All right. They pick up their swift spear. Nice. I just get rid of a swamp because I don't need a swamp. Because I'm just going to draw swamps. We'll pass turn. If there's a point at which we will draw with this, it'll be at their end step. My opponent's playing Thoughtseize Seize is an Inquisition. I don't want them to take one of those. They have Swift Spear in hand. We're expecting this plus something else. And it's the lovely one. I do like this art. I think this art's appropriate. I didn't like Goblin Rabble Master. I know some people did like Goblin Rabble Master, but I wasn't feeling it. All right, Castle. Let's go. Draw some cards, Castle. Not swamps. Come on. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. We don't really have anything on one that I want to draw. I, I suppose a fatal push could happen. Yeah, we're flooding. Oh no. Swiss spear number two. I will draw again. We'll wait until the end step here. More because I don't want them to take a good card here. And a Fatal Push is only going to save me one point of damage. There's a Bobble. Don't want that. Don't want this either. Help. Um... I'm going to get rid of the Silent Clearing. They can't crack it right now. Let's see how many basics they have. I'm not doing anything else. We're drawing anyway. I'm not going to draw taking damage. So about that one lander we threw away. It is unlucky draws. Sometimes magic does this to you. You just got to accept it and uh, move forward. Let's stop on their upkeep here. Give me the stop. We'll stop on their upkeep and use Bobble here just to see what else we get. We got a we got a bolt that's going to be a problem. Let's see what else we're drawing here. We know all but one of the cards. Well, Street Wraith is not really a card. <laughs> that's a that's a redraw. Uh, it's Ging. It's G LB? LB? I know what you mean. There's a lot of cool things going on in Modern right now. It's in a very healthy state. Very healthy state. It's, it's good. Bolt me. I don't even think I can use castle anymore. One, two, three, four, one, two, three. I don't even, I can't even empty the hand if I get Karn down to bridge. Oh my gosh. You're either going eight crabs or prime time. Oh, we'll go eight crabs. We just played Saltai Mill and it was a lot of fun. Here comes the bolt. Ugh. How am I supposed to ruin this opponent, Zale, if they're just crushing me and I'm flooding? I can't draw with this castle. I'm at five. I'd take three. It's a death wish. Two draws here. <laughs> Land. Mind stone. Let's crack the mind stone here. Draw. Mind stone. Draw. I'm looking for a push. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Send me, send me to game number two. I wanted mana, yeah, 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 yeah. I got the mana now. Whew. Thank goodness I got the mana. 104.3, the concede, FM. <clears throat> My opponent's just got to be wondering what's going on. What does this guy need so much mana for? I don't know. So we started with Inquisition Thought Seize and a Blood Chief's Thirst. We ended this game by drawing Bobble, land, 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 Bobble, land, 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 Mindstone. Oh yeah, Mindstone. That thing. 
All right, what are we doing, opponent? <laughs> Fatal blow. Oh. <laughs> what? Now they're just showing off. Now they're just showing off. Whoa, 90s MTG, bringing the rating party of 74. Welcome. Oh, now we're just showing off. We're showing off. You know what would be so funny right here is if I had a fatal push in response to everything they're doing here. That'd be so funny and rude all at the same time. Postmortems here. I'm gonna I'm gonna fake pump a, a swamp here because <laughs> I think they deserve it. All right, that was fun. All right. <clears throat> Dang, couple Swift Spears. Couple Swift Spears. Oh, lands. Lands, there's a Karn. All right. Some Damnations, because I will have plenty of mana for it. Soul Guide Lanterns has value in this. I could take one or two Thought Seizes out for the Damnations, I think. Just do that. I mean, what's a four drop? We had what, seven, eight mana? <laughs> so we gotta just deal with creatures. Uh, we could potentially do a duress over a thought seize, but at least the thought seize takes the creature. So that's a thing. Uh, Batter Skull can be fetched with Karn. We do see that they have K commands. K commands problematic because we have only one bridge. We have no way to recycle our bridge, unfortunately, because our Soul Guide Lantern doesn't hit our own graveyard. And then if you were able to hit your own graveyard, use Karn and go get your <clears throat> go get your stuff. Let's submit. Let's do this. My opponent appreciated my pump fake there on the fatal push. They lolled. Such a good sport. <laughs> Such a good sport. Hey, thank you for the follow. Thank you everyone that's been following. All our subs, lots of support and love tonight. Thank you. You can fetch an exile card. I thought it had to be in your sideboard. Nope. You may reveal an artifact card from you own outside the game or choose a face up artifact card you own in exile. So sideboard or exile. This allows you to replay like you can play relics down. You can like snag things in your graveyard you want for later. When you have a Koythus Guide of, of Destiny, you got to be careful what you're exiling if your opponent's playing Karn. So yeah. All right. Hand looks like gas. Keep. Keep, keep, keep. We'll wait on the bobble, I think. And we'll inquisition our opponent. Let's get things going. Let's see what they can steal from me. This is a great hand. All right, we got that Swiss Spear, Death Shadow, Death Shadow, and a bobble. We have a lot of creatures. Well... Question, do we let them work up to potentially double Death Shadow with our Damnation? Take the Swift Spear here? I think so, right? Take the Swift Spear, let them have the Death Shadows, let them work towards the Death Shadows. We have a stop on their upkeep to use Bobble to see what else they draw. Oh, that's right, you could. You could Skyclave. Team or Battle Rage? All right. Confirmed. My opponent has the card that kills us the most. The most. All right. Mistress Bobble for my opponent. Checking themselves to see if they want to fetch. Going to be doing some fetching and shocking, I'm sure, with this Fatal Push and Death Shadows, you know. Yeah, Rat Jam's back. Rat Jam never left here. It's only Avaros that we... Got rat jammed. Never left. Always here. We have a street wraith. We've used the polluted delta. We didn't like the top of the library. They had the blood crypt as an option. Opponent draws a card here, and we draw as well. 
Theirs goes first. Ooh. I can Inquisition right now, or 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 I can Mindstone prepping for a Damnation or something else. Let's let's Inquisition here. They ended up drawing another card. I want, to, I want a chance to steal something. So we have a Dismember, which could kill Tergrid if we go that route. We have Death Shadow, Death Shadow. Varos, yeah, Voxy came by. You know Voxy, right? If you don't, please go follow her. Thank you. Actually, yeah, 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 what Gray has said. This is average now. This is we're we're part of the Voxy Club now. <clears throat> we left you in the dust, Evan. Inquisition here, a dismember or a death shadow? Gosh, I want to take this dismember. It's probably correct to take the dismember. Since I have the fatal push and the damnations. Wait, what? Let's go! <laughs> We're trying to ruin this person too. They're 4 0 right now. Ooh, there's a the bloodstain mire. Ooh, oh! Let's say Meyer Fetch Shock. We can play Death Shadow, Death Shadow. Do I Fatal Push one of these or do I try to win with a Damnation? I'm gonna be greedy. We're gonna go, we're gonna go for the Mind Stone, work our way up here. Look at this. Worst case scenario, I get to Fatal Push anyway. Maybe they Team or Battle Rage one of these. Just don't Thought Seize me opponent, please. Thanks. Inquisition's fine. I know you're running Inquisitions instead of Thought Seizes, right? <laughs> a funny. I'm a funny guy. 0% to lose. In for 6, we're going to actually let this all hit me. I'd rather have a backup Fatal Push after this. Ooh. Cruxa. I still have my Soul Guy Lantern's main. So we have Blood Crypt, Team or Battle Rage. I ditch a Fatal Push here because I'm going to Damnation. Now I'm really happy that I didn't. Gonna Damnation and then see what we can do with Turgrid. Is that a Varos? Oh, it is. All right, Damnation. Oh, gosh. We're so close. We're so close. All right, Damnation, clear the board. My opponent can Blood Crypt and then play a Croxa. If they do that, they have one, two, three, four, five, leaving three behind. I can then Liliana, down tick, kill Croxa. They have Team or Battle Rage and something else. I unfortunately am not going to get the combination of Tegrid and Liliana. We will definitely be doing Liliana down tick on Croxa unless I find a fatal push. I love this. I love this art, by the way. This art is like. I love this. Yeah, there's only one Tegrid. The Tegrid has just been kind of like slapped in here to try out. I don't think it wins me this match, though. I need to. I need to get rid of Croxa before I get beat down here. I love the border on this. The. 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 Oh. The borders were just, they knocked it out of the park with the borders. All right. Bobble's not bad here. Thanks. Getting some compliments on our list here. Always good to get some compliments. Hey, thank you for the follow. Ram 2045. Oh my gosh. The Nyx Fleece Ram showed up. <laughs> I appreciate my opponent's honesty. I said I love this art. They said it's the cheapest. Dang right. All right, now what do we do with a Liliana and Active Croxa? Just hope we draw our Soul Guide Lantern. Let's see what they're drawing. Please, nothing scary. It's not scary, but it kills Lily. I guess I don't have to answer my question of should I uh, make them discard or not. 
Teamer Battle Rage and one an other card. Oh, we're playing something. Oh, K Command. Oh gosh. K Command kill Mindstone. Pick up something. Death Shadow. Oh no. Oh. It's fish. It's fish. Fish is here. Why are you killing Liliana? Let it be. Damnation number two, please, off the top. What are these? 10, 11, 12. We're gonna play the Field of Ruin here. Field them, draw with Mind Stone, and hope for that last damnation. Double draw here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see why my opponent is 4 0. Oh, silent clearing. Okay, redraw. Nice redraw. Team or Battle Rage plus something else. I don't have anything at instant speed that gets rid of a fish. It's too big. It's beefy. Don't activate Castle. Team or Battle Rage. No surprise there. Down to two. Oops. Let's go ahead. Thin library ever so slightly here. And then we'll use Mind Stone. We have four, five, six mana, so we can't do Karn. You can make one small argument for Karn. The small argument is that if I leave Mind Stone here, I could have a blocker. They have a Monastery Swift Spear, though, so if they have any spell, they win. So let's go ahead and dig for Damnation here. Draw one, draw for turn. Oh, look. Swamp. Draw two, swamp. We go out on our own terms. Good game, opponent. Good game. Plenty of lands. Plenty of lands for our opponent, or for us. Not for our opponent. Our opponent was perfect. Look at that. Four lands. That's all they needed. Champion mana there. I want that champion mana. They're even they're even encouraging us to keep the black prison black prison deck alive. What a sweet person. <laughs> Are we making an only lands account? Oh, Bobble. Soon, right? Soon. There's Karn. There's Packrat. Uh, Packrat actually would have been a pretty good draw. Packrat, discard one of the lands I had. That could have that could have worked. Lurus was an interesting one. Getting like a Bobble or something. As long as the Lurus stayed alive, it could jump block for a turn. Nice. All right, we're 2-1, though. 2-1. Oh, Stickball. Thanks for the, the host. Dick ball coming in. What's up? What's up, Russ? Voxy showed up. That's what happened. And flooded. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> We're flooding real hard for the flood of new viewers. That's how we uh, roll. <laughs> it's the new, it's the new new dream. Get get raided, get flooded. <laughs> Magic Online's like, oh, you should be happy about that. Here, here's some lands to celebrate. We, after all, do talk quite a bit about picking the land choices. After all, we do like looking at specific arts. Magic is full of many, many arts. Bravo, Brendan. Thank you for the sub, the prime sub. Welcome. For any brand new subs, we do have a Discord that is sub only. You're welcome to join. We also have these sweet emotes for those that do link it up. All right, we're two one. My opponent is one and zero. Oh. Opponent is under <laughs> underscore seventy two. We'll keep this hand. Double lands here. Fatal push. Thought seize and bobble. It's kind of everything we want. I couldn't stay awake any longer. 
2-0 in your league? Nice. Way to go, Raz. Ooh. All kinds of bobbles. Bobble, bobble, bobbles. See what else they're going to draw here. Ooh. All right, we're against Heliod again. Drawing a Spike Feeder. Okay, we're against this again. Um... Kind of a bummer that they're drawing another spike feeder. I guess I need to get rid of like Luminar here. Maybe I get rid of the Conclave. Let's get rid of the Conclave. Luminar happens at a little closer to sorcery speed. A little closer. We need some some hot removal here though. If they throw down a three drop here, we'll wait on Bobble here. We know they have back-to-back -back spike feeders. I'll probably just have to do Bobble on my turn and see what they're, else they're going to draw here. An Arbor Elf will kill one spike feeder here and pass turn. We get Luris plus Bobbles next, which is okay. My opponent's got another spike feeder I've got to deal with. I've got Karn. Opponent could make infinite life. Ooh, okay, Liliana's... Liliana might be before. Well, maybe not. Arbor Elf plus... Luminarch? Heliod is a solid list, for sure. Bravo, feels good. It does feel good. Alright, Russ, you take care. There's Luminarch, makes it a 2-2, two -two, or this a 2-2. Two -two? Makes itself a 2-2. Two -two. We have Spike Feeder, Walking Ballista. Hmm. When am I making partner? I have no idea. I guess I play Lurus here and use Bobble only because it gets me more value and then we can try to Karn lock them. I'm really worried about a Heliod showing up here. But I think we can we can Karn lock them out. So let's go ahead and try to do that. It's a Harden Scales. That's a little worrisome. Let's draw a card. Oh look, a land. <laughs> a land. Alright. What are you gonna do? Harden scales plus walking ballista? A pretty decent sized walking ballista now. And then they get another one of these. Okay. Luminarch makes this a 4-4. Four, four. Shoot, shoot, and swing four. It's a pretty good turn for them. Um, it's a 5-5, five, five. that's right, because of hardened scales. Luminarch attacks. And they shoot down Luris. All right, so I need a removal for probably Walking Ballista. Bonus Liliana doesn't do it. Hmm, we have a Spike Feeder coming. How do we live here? Liliana down tick, see what they do. Gets rid of Arbor Elf. Spike Feeder comes into play. Maybe it's a Liliana uptick. And work our way through a lock. Lock's gonna be really hard to do. But I'm... Hmm. Does uptick even make sense here? If I uptick, they just miss. They they pump with the forest here anyway. Let's go ahead and make them sacrifice. Make them decide between spike feeder or just making this big. I have a feeling that they're... Um, I think they can just go and go here. Gain two. This one here as well. Another two. Swing. Shoot once. 
This is five. This is six, seven, 14. This is lethal. This is lethal. I needed like a spot removal fatal push to get rid of the walking blista. The fact that they had too many creatures here made the Liliana's not work very well for us. And then Karn. Karn doesn't really do a whole lot here. They just attack Karn for the turn. Maybe I get bridge or maybe I don't, but then they just shoot me down after they kill Karn. I get maybe one more draw, maybe. Oh, the fatal pushes. <laughs> Talk about one more draw and then hit two fatal pushes. Awkward. All right, so last time we brought in Plague Engineers and Damnations. I think I want to do that again. I believe we got rid of Tear Grid. I did what? Lowen Luris. And the Soul Guide Lanterns, if I remember correctly. Because we wanted the we want the Karns to lock them out. We want the Lilianas for removal, but also upticks. We want all of the discard. We want all the removal. We're okay to do the Bobble and Luris thing, but we took out a Luris because we're bringing in Damnation. This name's... It was going to name Ariok Champion. They are in the Conclave version, though. I still think it's all right. It'll mess some of things up. We we ended up getting a double druid elf, the arbor elf last time. So that's probably good to get. Nice. I like this hand. <laughs> you can just pack rat them. We're here to do pack rat things occasionally too. Let's get that going. Windswept teeth for my opponent. Let's take a look at what's going on. Collected, collected giver. Luminar. Luminarch's a human cleric. This is a cleric, too. I guess I take Giver here. Man, two collected companies is going to be rough. And we know they're drawing their, their th fourth land, so they're going to hit that on curve. When they play Luminarch, it's going to be a 2-2 anyway, and the Plague Engineer doesn't kill it. I guess I've got to take Giver with the hope that I draw some, like, Fatal Pushes or something. Oh, that's a tough hand for us to deal with. Find a Mind Stone. Okay. Temple Garden puts that into play tapped. Okay. I don't know, do I just beat them by playing like a pack rat and then just like land and just throwing pack rats away? The Luminarch stays up with our pack rats. Or do I need to play Mindstone prepping for something else? Hmm. Mindstone getting Karn's probably not a bad thing if we're ramping up versus trying to throw things away with a pack rat with just a Luminarch here. That's going to be big enough to block a pack rat. Will they even care once they get to collect a company? I think I have to find something more than pack rat here. Like, pack rat's a nice backup, but. I don't think it's going to win us here. We'll see, we'll see. Prismatic Vista, fetch. Goodbye. Forest. And the Luminarch. And beefs itself up. Ooh. All right, all right. This kind of paid off here. Let's go ahead and put a Laris down. Get our bobble, see what else is going to happen here. Oh no. <laughs> I think I still kill this. Right? Man, Heliod's a pain. I, I guess we can, like, wait on this Fatal Push. 
draw. Who knows what we draw? Oh, there's Karn. Oh, okay. Okay. I know we have a collected company showing up soon. But Karn's good. Karn's part of that lock that we need. Three mana Heliod, obviously. Luminarch grows bigger. Let them swing or whatever. They do not. I think it's okay to clear this creature. I don't want something else growing in our future. Land. All right. Field. Bobble. Let's see what the top of the library is. Regime to hydrate. Get that water. All right, we're drawing a Fatal Push, which is pretty good. Let's play Karn. Down tick. What's up, I play bad decks? How's it going? Welcome. Getting all the raids tonight. All right, so I sort of need a bridge. I sort of need a torpor. I sort of need everything. Um, What's our best course of action? We're going to get a fatal push. Torp Orb's probably the safest thing. Let's do Torp Orb as our first thing. And uh, we can pretty safely attack for three in past turn. All right, we draw Bobble Trigger. My opponent's got that collected company. We can play Torp Orb, maybe Bridge. Have a Fatal Push. Okay. So they make infinite life here, and I technically have one less card. What can I do here? If my opponent fires off a collected company, we could beat them by milling them out. But only just. Keeping in mind that they'd have to hit two hits and want to keep those two. Oh my gosh. You just finished a four color seance league? Oh my gosh, how'd that go? What do we have in the Karn Wish board here? Liquid Metals, Spyglass, Soul Guide Lanterns, Batter Skull, and Sky Sovereigns. So we can like kind of lock them out. We just need them to draw two cards somewhere. You hate the politics of this deck? <laughs> What's super funny is we drew the fatal push off the bobble there was no way for me to keep the bobble open for me to hit the spike feeder it went three two deck is legit we need to tweak it a bit but every match we lost was one two nice and you beat the top tiers that's that's what you like that's what you like to see all right my opponent's my opponent's doing the whole the whole dealio I think I have to give them an opportunity to fire off a collected company and then hard lock them out of the game. We are a prison list after all. And they don't know, but we, we, we don't have to represent we don't have a win condition, I don't think. Is there an upper limit on life? I don't think there is. And place the bets on when they, they stop, yeah. One sixty nine. All right. Our win con here is they eventually. All right. Are we going to do this on my turn now?
<laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't know. Would you call that a stop? Like I said, if my opponent fires off a single collected company at any point, then we can win by decking them. I need to give my opponent an opportunity to progress the game a little bit further. And if I can get them to progress the game just a touch further, we could have an out. We're going to give our opponent a few turns to figure this out. They just start kind of like skipping. Then there's that. Yeah, the timer's a legit win condition on Magic Online, but that's not how we always like to win. I've had a, many a debates about this where people will say, that's rude to do. There will also be people that would say, no, legitimate, go for it. And I think one thing you have to keep in mind is that in Paper Magic, you have to be aware of your time and clock. Um, we're currently down a game here, so this is where I would continue to probably play out because you lose regardless. At this point, I probably wouldn't have asked my opponent how many cards are in their library. I'd just play it out. Probably a 1-0 win for them by the end of it. True, true. It is, it is something that you risk by playing it. But hey, you know what's the benefit of playing against something like this? Is I get to field some questions from you guys. We get to chat while this person decides to give themselves repetitive injuries. <laughs> mm-hmm. Well, and I think because we're only one card down on them, like I said, if they play one collected company or they do one thing where they draw something or or do a fetch or anything like that then we could beat them we could also field of ruin technically we could field the ruin they get a card and we fail to find and that would be a way as well so we technically have an out so i would like to play this and continue forward now that we've sat here long enough field of ruin they find a card we don't is an out In a real paper tournament, they would say I'm at 9 billion life. Go. I'm like, okay. Let's move on. What is my favorite breed of dog? I mean, we have a black lab. Can I be biased to that? <laughs> Cover her ears. I mean, I like huskies, German shepherds, like... Corgis, Basset Hounds, Bulldogs are cute. I don't know if I would own a Bulldog ever. The Target Dog, a Bull Terrier is pretty cool. Great Danes are interesting. Um, There was a really cool dog on the dog show. We watched it around Thanksgiving. I can easily make nine nine nines. Golden Retrievers are good. Hey, thank you for the follows. This prone is gonna make me late for bed. <laughs> Do you think it's worth running a pithy needle and sideboard along spyglass? Possibly. I don't know what my opponent's trying to achieve. I currently have not yielded the turn. I've just yielded both triggers. I could field and push to stop this right now, yes. But then my turn's really awkward. I'm just going to let him burn the clock. Or they, I guess. We don't know. They're trying to hit infinite life. I think the super funny thing here is that if my opponent would just chat in here, this is the one thing. If they would just chat and they go, hey, 
I have infinite life, I'd be like, cool, I can beat that. That's all I would tell my opponent at this point. Hey, we get to play some magic. All right, so. <laughs> Player castle down. Um, so here we probably need to go get, I think we're gonna have to go get like a bridge or something. So let's Torp Orb for now. Let's go get... I think it's got to be Bridge first. Not worried about needing Spyglass stuff. So we're going to go get a Bridge and we'll leave Fatal Push open. I'm waiting for the MTG Overload. Exactly. Uh, bridge, so they can't attack me. We're going to leave ourselves a Fatal Push open. We have Luris defending. I don't want to use the bobble anymore. I'm not going to tempt myself with that. I'll make it look like I forgot for this turn. And we'll pass. <clears throat> All right. Like I said, if they use Collected Company, fine. That'd be good. Prismatic Vista. Here we go. They just need a fetch. Fetch or use Collected Company or anything like that. Hardened Scales. Okay. Oh my gosh, are we going to go more here? They make it a 3-3. Three, three. They can attack and I can block right now, which I will do. Okay. We can now Fatal Push this at end step. Oh my gosh, here we go again. They grow it a little bit bigger. Oh my gosh. <laughs> nice. You have a giant 6-6. Six, six. All right. We can empty our hand pretty easily here. End step, we'll go ahead and attempt a Fatal Push here. This may get them to finally fire off a Collecting Company, and then I will have more cards than them. Okay. There's a Thought Seize. Let's go ahead and... Pack Rat. Plague Engineer. But this I'm going to name, let's just name Druid. And we'll go ahead and Thought Seize them. We know it's two Collected Companies. We take a Collected Company and we go up, past turn. Here they go, they're paying. Here comes the Collected Company. If they play any card into the battlefield, we can hard lock them out and win the game because we'll have more cards. There we go. All right, so they play cards. We have more cards than them. So now we have to just proceed to try and to hard lock them out of this game, which is probably likely because we have Torpor Orb and Snaring Bridge. This is the mistake we need our opponent to do. Cool. All right, play whatever, uptick Karn, pass turn. Yeah, they're getting low on the clock and now we have a win condition. So land, up uptick, pass turn. I could make this rad, I should probably be doing that instead. But I'm just trying to play quickly. So now that my opponent made 500 life here, it's all for nothing. Have to watch out for Walking Blista though. No, Karn shuts down Walking Blista. We good, we good. Let's go ahead and Inquisition. Cool, Arbor Health, we named the right thing. We're gonna go get a Liquid Metal Coating here. I guess we can start like pitching to the, the Pack Rat or something. I don't know if they have another out here, but like I said, we're going to just lock them out with the liquid metal coating. We just need to play fast because my opponent's going to start playing to the whole, hey, I want you to, to time out. Let's get rid of a Pendlehaven first. Go ahead, opponent. And as mentioned, we're now ahead on, on cards here. 
We can pitch the rat for forever. One, two, three, pitch to rat. We have a lot of activations here, so we just need to play quickly. Go ahead, opponent. Got to keep cool, calm when you're playing prison. Except this is going to be a long game. Boom, boom, boom. Go ahead, opponent. I don't believe we need to get any other pieces here. I'm just going to take them off of all their lands. It's a conclave. Cool, 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 cool. I deck them. You know what? Let's play land. It's always good to have extra lands. You never know when those will be needed. We'll try to hit the Prismatic Vista and see if they want to fetch with it. Their library is the win condition now. Library and clock. And the fact that I still have a win condition, we will continue to play. Because I would like to go to a game three. If my opponent would be ever so kind here. I am five minutes up on them too, yeah. New Heliod. And again, I'd be happy to explain this to my opponent, but they haven't chatted to us, so we're just going to play Magic. Chill Magic here. Hey, thank you for the sub. Welcome. Just pitch, pitch, pitch. Go, go, go. That's a lot of windswept teeth. Also, the game is kind of lagging, so hopefully that doesn't become a, a problem. Hopefully that doesn't become a problem. Hey, thank you for the follow as well. I'm going to need a snack. My opponent uses a windswept teeth here and ends up getting another land. Uses a windswept teeth. I'm curious if they have an out to this. I should probably use Karn here to go get like a spyglass or something. They didn't shock. But yeah, I could get a spyglass here, maybe to shut down Heliod. My opponent did all the fetching there as well. So that's even less cards. Pretty much I think I just want to remove all their lands. That way they never can play anything. So if they have an out, they won't be able to play. Any land we see in hand, we're going to play that onto the battlefield because that's less clicks than doing the pack rat. This is game two. Three mana, new ranger. It's just a ranger. I'd have to get rid of my bridge, and I don't have a way to, to get rid of my bridge. We're going to discard all bobbles because we don't want to be drawing cards. Let's go ahead and get them off white here. We have plenty of blockers on the off chance that they're able to get rid of my bridge with, say, like a nature's claim. And I know this is not the most pleasant way to watch magic, but it is proving that we do have an out. And I want to play to all outs. This is what Moto's all about. Okay. <laughs> Make enough rats to make them. Now we can play Liliana. We can play this. My opponent has to make decisions now. <laughs> Makes decisions now. Uh, 
At this point, just being ahead on clocks where I want to be. Just where I want to be. Prison as Richard Garfield intended. Indeed. We're slowing down magic online. All right, now I don't have this activation. I'm gonna work on getting Liliana all the way up here. <laughs> this bridge isn't for my protection, it is for yours. Love it. Land. Uptick, get sort of the card here. Uptick, please. Please. Scavenging ooze goes away. What if foothills taken care of? By the way, we have Field of Ruin. If they were to ever hold the hold or try to fetch with their lands, we would be able to work that line. Hey, thank you for the follow. I would agree with you, it would be the correct line, but my opponent's, I guess, just not interested in that. All right, they do concede here. All right, and we do have them fully hard locked out and we have a win condition of decking them. So my opponent makes the right call and does concede. So we're going to game three, no changes here, and let's see if we can beat them or not. I saw pack rat and had to push the follow button. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. Ooh. Ooh. The lily could have killed the bridge. True. True. I suppose the lily can kill the bridge. It's not the first thought for having the Liliana there. <laughs> but you are correct, Ansem. All right, opponent. 12, 12, 12s. That's 144. They were at 450, so you need to attack four times through. Or you could have, what, like 20, 20, 20s? So if you had 20, 20, 20s and no blockers, you'd win. Well, you'd be close at least. You'd, you'd do 400, it'd be two turns. You need something like 28 20 or 25. All right, we're gonna keep this. We have Thoughtseize here leading into, um, who knows what. My opponent shocks in here, end up top decking a damnation. That's pretty good for us. Let's see what you got. Veil it is. That's fine. Gotta deal with those veils. My opponent's gonna have to play quickly. We'll have a little bit more time to make some thoughts. We'll see if it pays off for us. We're gonna work towards our lock here because I think that's the best way to win this game. Temple Garden for my opponent. Remembering my opponent went first. There's a Skyclave. We'll play another Mind Stone, working our way up to the Damnation. My opponent knows how they have to kill us. There's a bobble, we'll happily take that as well. Do a mind stone. Let's do a pack rat. Emptying the hand here is good for the future with Karn. Love to see like a spike feeder, maybe even a main phase collected company because my opponent's under pressure. By committing the pack rat, I feel like they won't think I have a damnation. There's a conclave, step one. Play something else. Yes. Yes. Looks good. Damnation's looking pretty hot. They're drawing a Giver of Ruins. We will chump block here. Draw. And I think we're good to go ahead and just Damnation, get a 2-2, two -two, and then we'll work on our Karn and do whatever we need to from there. 
This puts my opponent way back, and again, they're going to have to make some very rapid decisions here. So we play Giver, we play Heliod. We get to do Karn plus Torporb. Karn plus Torporb defends Karn well. Bridge and then Liquid Metal Coating, just like we did it before. Collected Company. Spike Feeder. Do your thing, opponent, if you would like to. Go to 400. They don't want to this time around. We're going to get our bridge. Play our bridge. And I suppose we'll pass the turn here. We've got our lock assembled here. I know I have one card in hand. I can ditch that at any point. I don't like beginning of combat here. No thanks. Get a, go away, giver. Okay. I'm gonna do the upticks with the Karn again. Lily's not a bad draw here either. Let's do Lily first. Let's go up. Let's go down with Lily. Make them sacrifice and see if they want to do anything with the spike feeder. Okay. And once again, I think we're close to a hard lock here. And we have more cards than them, but this time we could beat them with something. Let's go up. I don't mind losing my fatal push here. And we'll pass turn. We're going to go get a liquid metal coating once again. And then we'll look for a win condition in pack rat. We did it. Double downed on locking my opponent out. My opponent's mistake was only playing an extra card there. If they would have said something in chat, I'd be happy to say, okay, you got me. Liquid metal coating. Play this. Play this new mind stone. Pass turn. Cool. We did it. Black Prison. Hard locking this opponent out. Getting it done. Long game. I like it, though. Sometimes that's the kind of play games you gotta play if you're gonna play the prison. If you're gonna play the prison... Positive record achieved. That's right. We're going to be going into match five as a three and one player here. That feels good. New spike feeder. Land. Let's kill another land here with Karn. We'll keep going up with Liliana. We're planning to do an alt here. That's right, Grayus. Making it work. Yeah. And we do get the concession. This time we have them completely hard locked. The previous game, as mentioned, if my opponent says they have, you know, astronomical life total, I would probably consider conceding there. Because to me, if they could then prove that they would not draw another card, then I had no other win condition because I cannot do enough damage. I'll say this, there are times to use the chat log on MTGO. I think it is always worth at least having a conversation with your opponent online, because there's a lot of people that will respect what you say there. Evan was a great example. They had infinite life versus infinite tokens. They just agreed. Don't click a bunch. If I get my cats, I win. If you get your life gain, you win. Don't think everyone's out there to get you. We're here to play tight and aggressive magic some nights, and other nights we're like, yeah, let's just hang out. I'd even be willing to say I can still beat you and just kind of leave it at that for a little bit and see if they would come to the conclusion that I'm trying to beat them by milling. Be interesting. 
I'm, I'm about a conversation. Am I justifying this too much? You decide. Let's go. Match number five here. Yeah, the Emrakul player. Emrakul, we've had combos. We've had Kiki Jiki combos. We've had Sahili Cat combos. You know, people want to play their, their combos. We're 3-1. Three, 3-1. One. Three, one. Sly Daniels, our opponent. Final league match. Whew. One lander. Hmm. One lander on the draw with a bobble. It's nice. It's tempting. Hmm. I don't know, man. I guess the way I flood out this Johnny Boyce's keep. The way I flood out, we'll get like eight lands. We'll be fine. Could you play a grindstone or something in the board? We might be able to. All right, let's keep a looser one here. We're three one overall. We just had a long game. Let's 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 go let's go the distance here. Oh shoot, it's old Drazies. Uh oh, this might be rough. Ah, oh, land off the top like champions that we are. I'm not gonna do this until their turn. Thought not. Thought not it is. All right, opponent. Steal my cards. Oh my gosh, they have Chalice of the Void. We're not even playing Chalice anymore. <laughs> what an interesting deck. I would hate to play against it. I think all you have to do is if you're playing against someone playing Prison, strike up a conversation half the time. Now, if they're, they're just like, I don't want to talk to you. All right, then back off. Don't mess with that person. That person's here to be. I've played against, it was a black white player and I was red prison and we are having a conversation. They were cool, lighthearted about it. Because of that, we were like, all right, I know what I need. You know what you need. Let's go. Draw, 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 draw. We went through, I think, 32 turns in the last seven minutes of the round because it was awesome. Oh gosh, there's pack rat. Oh gosh, there's pack rat. All right, let's see if I'm gonna draw a land here. I'm gonna draw an Inquisition. Hmm. I am still awake, Last God. I, I got Voxy rated, I'm, I'm pumped and we're locking people out. I'm gonna hope that there is a land under that Inquisition. We're gonna play Pack Rat because making big Pack Rat is the way to victory here. The way to victory. Don't smash me yet. Give me time, opponent. Give me time. No. <laughs> My little rat. Oh, Chalice on zero. That's aggressive. I guess it's for the bobble. Oh, I take nine. Oh, there was another Inquisition. That's not good. That's not good. Um, do I have an out? I really don't because of Reality Smasher. Let's take a peek. We let's steal all their stuff. I don't have an out though. I went for the pack route. We ended up getting only two lands and didn't get the third to grow. Not to mention they got a pretty quick reality smasher here on turn three. Oh, and they can just top deck another reality smasher. We won't even send our rat to blocking. We respect our rat. Your poor reality. We just got smashed. The turn four kill. Pretty powerful. So, about that, damnation. No soul guide lantern, pray. Top bond to in a land, if only, <laughs> if only. I think it's just gotta be damnations here. This is a hard matchup. We're not the red prison list where we would just blood moon and bridge them. We're this list that tries to grab bridge and interact with our opponent. Since our fatal pushes are so, their fatal pushes are for four or less, the reality smasher is just like a non kill. We try to deal with the little creatures. Any big creatures, we're hoping that the bridge is enough. I think it's just damnation. Can I draw two cards? If only Ashiok were good here. Yeah, Ashiok's not very good. 
Like, the search is kind of nice, but it comes down too late. Oh my gosh. All right, we're, we're, we either have the best pack rat ever, or we're going out dying with the pack rats. This is the way the night should finish. Hers is mine. All right, no thought knots on turn two. Thank goodness. Pack rat. Are we Lilianian? No. Full on pack rat power. I'm not even gonna feel the ruin them. Look at this chalice on one. Ah. Ah. Pack rat number one. Go, go, go. Swing. We're gonna have the biggest, the baddest pack rats. Swarm yard. If only, if only. Matter Reshaper. Is that your turn, opponent? Was that it? Oh my gosh. How many Lilianas am I going to draw? You know what? Let's assist Pack Rat. Let's assist Pack Rat. Get out of the way, Matter Reshaper. We want to smack you for four. We're not losing a Pack Rat here. Surgical Extraction? Ha! 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 Lily Tron? Yeah, we assembled Tron. This is how we're going to get rid of Reality Smashers when they smash me four times. Just, just Reality Smasher. Attacks Liliana. My opponent thinks that's the threat. They think that's the threat. Let's... Two mana Mind Stone, Liliana. Kill the Reality Smasher, smack for four. Pack Rats are taking us to victory here. We're going to be pitching soon. He doesn't know we have Lily Tron. <laughs> Get Lily Troned. Soon we smack for six, exactly. Oh no, oh no, oh no, 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 no. Why you do this? Why you ruin them? Unbelievable. We got all is dusted. We're fine? All right, we're fine. I don't know how we're fine. New chalice, all right, zero. Zero chalice. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hope the coding's enough here. Shut down a Eldrazi temple at upkeep. Let's see. This is our play. We can't get a bridge, not yet. Hope they can't smash. Hope they can't smash. I'd like to shut off your Eldrazi temple. This is one, two, three, four, five mana still. Don't smash me. Don't smash me. Thought not me, I don't care. Give me the thought not. Stop tapping mana. Hmm. Hmm. Karn, that great creator. Hmm. They go up with their Karn. They don't go get anything. This is countered. Unless I want to make it not countered. Hmm. I can go get this boat you all like. Everyone likes this boat. Is it time for me to get the boat? Luckily I can. I don't need to turn it on. It's a 5-5 five five with Karn. The other thing I could do is Spyglass. I can animate it with Karn. I can't coding. I can't coding the Karn. Mm -hmm. 
Boats ETB does three. Batter Skull is a little bit interesting. The problem with Batter Skull is that the opposing Karn can uptick on the Batter Skull and we lose the equipment. Tick up and start bopping there, Karn. Like with a Mind Stone or something. Play Liliana, uptick. Making boat noises is enough. Hmm. I don't know what they're gonna go get. I'm really afraid of what they're gonna go get. I could, I could like shut this off. I could shut this off with a spyglass. Play spyglass and Liliana here. All right. Look at all the suggestions, by the way. Twitch chat, whenever someone says, oh yeah, Twitch chat's helpful. I've had like 80 different suggestions now. So one move we could do is they don't know about this Liliana. We could dance. So one, one thing I'm considering, yeah, many lines, many carns. <laughs> uh, one, one option I can do is Spyglass. That just shuts them off, play Liliana, let's go from there. One option I have is go down, go get boat, shoot this for three. My opponent panics, it goes down, also gets their own boat, kills my Karn. The other thing they could do is go down, maybe has bridge and tries to block. If they have bridge, I can go up with Karn, Liliana down tick and kill the bridge, but that doesn't let me swing in with boat. I'm thinking that the mutual spyglass here is just gonna have to be the thing we do. <laughs> I think it's Spyglass. As much as I don't want to Spyglass, I think it's Spyglass. Part of me would love to uptick for the Bobble, but I have a dead card in my hand, so let's Spyglass here. We also get to see what my opponent's got, which is a Surgical and an Endbringer. Okay. Oh my gosh. All right, we're going to name Karn the Great Creator. We both have dead cards here but I will get to at least start my Liliana here. Liliana uptick here, Bobble gone. I'm assuming the Surgical's gone. We got Endbringer. Now I can deal with an Endbringer. The worst case scenario is Reality Smasher. But as long as they don't get a Reality Smasher here, we could work our way up and then do some fun, fun with uh, Liliana. Boat. I hate the boat. I don't think the boat's worth it. What am I hoping to draw? Pack rat. Pack rat, obviously. Mm, okay, they're, they're making Endbringer mana. That's fine. We're going to down tick to kill this. We have the city's blessing over the here. Let's go ahead and get rid of this arch. I'm gonna hold swamp here because it's my first pitch to pack rat. All right, so Liliana went down here. This also allows me to potentially hold something that I want to keep. Thought not's a blank here. Thought's us a redraw with Liliana, which looks like what I'm gonna have to do. Can't sacrifice this. Lily uptick ends up just losing Lily, so we have to down tick here and take a new draw. I'm gonna play my land down past the turn so I have a little more land. I have one more Liliana in the list, which is my only out to Spyglass. It's a Mattery Shaper. I can kill that with Fatal Push. I can't kill it because of Chalice on one. I really need just Rat. 
That's what I need. We have a chalice on one over here. Can't kill. They can give my Karn a big hug if they want. That doesn't really do anything for them, though. It doesn't unlock their Karn or anything. We game. We game. Here we go. Are we ready? <sighs> Pack rats here. Let's go. Nothing big, opponent. Give me give me a give me breathing room. One, two turns. You can hit me for three. I'm okay. We have six mana. We're gonna make big rat. Big rat. Get out of here, Mr's Bobble. No one wanted you. Get out of here, Fatal Push. No one wants you. Get out of here, Inquisition. No one wants you. Smash for damage. Maybe this is better to wait a turn. But I'm too 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 greedy. Waste. It's just a waste. Here we go. No all is dust, no all is dust, no all is dust, no all is dust. Clutch, come on. We're the good guys, we have the rats. Spyglass was what appeared to be the right play. I get a double discard again. Double discard here gives me some nice big 6-6 six, six pack rats. That's the biggest victory of the night. Ooh, a damnation. Ooh, a Karn. Karn's so bad. All right. Do we change? See, see this boat? This boat? You want to know what you do with this boat? You ready? You ready? You slide this over. This is the hidden section. Plop the boat in there, and boom. All right, that's what you do with the boat. I should probably pull this out. This probably like glitches Moto, and if I ever wanted the boat. You know what? No, I don't want boat. Get out of here. All right. I don't know if I want to change anything at all. I think we're good. Let's go. Man, those chalices are brutal. Those chalices are brutal. We're keeping. We have Pack Rat. This is the Pack Rat matchup. Let's do this. Come on, one more time. Thought sees something scary away. Pack Rat them and watch them flail. My sideboard has 14. The boat. The boat. The boat's still there. We just don't beat Smasher. Karn down tick bridge and then begin locking them out. I, I handsome, I put it in the hide. You can hide them. We hid the boat. It wasn't worth it. Opponent goes to five cards. We have an expedition map. <sighs> Thought sees be good. Double thought not. Let's go. Let's go. Eldrazi Temple? Guess what they don't have? No Simeon Spirit Guide. Gotta play Pack Rat now. My opponent will be able to thought not it away. They'll probably steal my Fatal Push. They don't want me to use that. New Temple for my opponent. Thought not Seer. That's all we gotta beat. The big bad Eldrazi. Boat noises. This just made my day, just seeing someone use my favorite card, Pack Rat, in such an awesome way. I'm glad we could entertain you. All right, they steal Fatal Push for obvious reasons. We're doing Pack Rat things. Oh, no. No. No, damnation. All right. We're not going to play Mind Stone here. We're going to pitch a Mind Stone to Pack Rat. We just gotta get bigger, badder, and faster. 
Moist, yeah. This is the pack rat prison. I'm not gonna chump block here. I can't. I don't think I think they know they can't attack either. No Eldrazi Temple. Or sorry, no Eldra no reality smasher. Just a matter reshaper. Alright. End step mind stone. Got some pack rats. Oh my gosh. What am I supposed to do? I drew another one. Yeah, I guess I have to play around the all's dust. I play the land here. Mindstone. If I do mines, if I do mindstone here. I can pack rat again and I just hold on to the next. I just hold on to the extra pack rat. If they play a reality smash, oh no, a blast zone. Oh no, 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 stop it. I have to damnation now, don't I? I don't pitch the pack rat now because we have a blast zone we have to be worried about. I damnation here and then we go from there. Does draw field of ruin easy? So I, do I pitch or not? I, hmm. mm. Let's see if we draw the field. We do not draw the field. They have one card here. Killing Mattery Shaper gives them the second card. I guess I could Damnation Pack Rat, but then they just throw the Blast Zone up to two. They're going to draw with this as well. I get to draw with this. All right, we're going to go all in here on this. I'm not going to attack. I'm just going to Damnation here and then Pack Rat. We'll see what our other draw is, because we could also get like a Mishra's Bobble or something. They shoot us twice. Nothing surprising, really, with this transaction. We draw, they draw. Well, they they do matter reshaper things. We get a Karn. That's pretty good. And they get a, they get a land. All right. Maybe they'll take the turn to try to blast zone and then we can Karn Spyglass Blast Zone away. Go from there. There's a waste. What's your final card? Oh my gosh, I can I can Karn. Oh, I have the field now. I just field the blast zone now. Oh my gosh, am I gonna go get a boat? Am I gonna go get a boat? <laughs> oh, this this game. So one, two, three, four. I use Karn. I go. Oh, I know what I'm doing. We go get boat, right? All right. I'm gonna humor you all, and I'm probably gonna go get a boat. Let's go ahead and kill Blast Zone here. We get a land. Play Karn. Gonna go get... Boat seems reasonable. Let's go get Boat. Alright, I got the Boat. That Everyone that didn't think I'd get the Boat, I went and got the Boat. I've got plans for this Boat. I think the Boat is the correct plan. You watch, it'll be perfect. Yes, obviously if they Reality Smasher here and Smash me, it hurts. 
But we got plans for this boat. You ready for these plans? Oh, Thoughtseize is good too. Let's let's check on what's going on. Oh, oh my gosh, we stole it. We got it out of here. Now what do I go get? Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna send the boat to the the land of the rats. I'm gonna go kind of all in here on this. Let's get a bridge. Say okay, combat. Throw the brit the throw the boat. I'm throwing the bridge. We're all in. We're all in, ladies and gentlemen. Do it. Hit for three. All of you are panicking, don't panic. Believe in Pack Rat. That land they had in hand. Oh shoot, they're casting something. No, it's Karn. What is Karn gonna do? They're gonna go get Bridge. They're gonna go get Bridge. I need the boat. I need the boat. <laughs> Lily. Bye bye bridge. Oh my gosh. Get out of here, bridge. You're dying, pack rat. Believe in the pack rat. Believe. Draw more pack rat fuel. That was gorgeous, beautiful. Oh my gosh, we did it with the rats. Believe in the rats. 4-1. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I love it. Black Prison. Gabriel Nassif put this out there on the Twitter verse at one point. We grabbed it. Pack Rat was a dark confidant. We said, no, 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 no. Play the Pack Rat. That is our Goblin Rabble Master in this version of Prison, a black variation. Oh, that was sweet. That was. I'm on Cloud Nine. Got to do Pack Rat things. Kind of top deck, super lucky what it is we made a really good call with the spyglass that one time and we really hard locked out someone as well this is black prison pack rat variation